So if you're anything like me, you've probably used this lockdown to do a lot of DIY. I personally have had to change some light fittings in my hallway, which has forced me to get a few more smart bulbs. Now, the ones that I had to get because my wife was insistent was filament bulbs. And there are a few filament bulbs available that are smart. And the ones that I went for were these, which is the most people would, would go for, which is the Philips Hue filament bulb or the Edison bulb, depending on what you want to call it. But this is what I went for. But stick around till the end and I shall tell you of a alternative which could save you some money and will still work pretty much just as well. So I'm not gonna do anything sort of unboxing. I've just got it here in a lamp. Ta-da! One Philips Hue filament bulb. And it is a joy to behold. I mean, it is really good to look at. It is a lovely piece of art. Now, what I like about this is it's a glass bulb with one single filament. And that is exactly what you wanna see. Most smart bulbs are just like this. Plastic, the plastic dome. But these aren't bad, these are great. These give you more functionality because of the, the LEDs inside. Because this one can do a warm white, a cool white. Some of them, the ones I've got downstairs, can do pretty much any color in the rainbow. Whereas this just does a orange glow. Not a bad thing, but it's not overly practical. I wouldn't use it as a main light for a room, but I would use it as an accent light. Now, the cool thing is with these, because it's made the way it is, it's supposed to be looked at, it's supposed to be seen. So if you're putting it in a lamp like this, get the bulb lamp on there, wait a minute. Wait. If you're putting it in a lamp, then yeah, you can have that and you can turn the, uh, the brightness up it looks pretty cool but you can't see that bulb so that is no good to anybody and you're wasting your money if you're going to put it in a bulb in a blah 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 if you're going to put it in a lamp with a light shade then get these bulbs because they'll save you some money they'll do the same job but this is meant to be seen now these are ideal if you probably want to put it in maybe above a dining table or maybe above a breakfast bar, maybe in a lounge corner to create some ambient lighting. But remember, if it's gonna go out of the way that you, in a place where you can't really see it to create accent lighting, then don't use these. These are meant to be in a place where they are to be seen by people. So any other situation, get these bulbs. But if you're going to look at the light, get these bulbs and this leads me to my other thing when you have these bulbs because they are meant to be seen you pretty much have to have it on its dimmest setting like it is now you can obviously turn it up and it does get very bright but when it is on its brightest you can't look at it it's it's just too bright so you need it on its dimmest setting so this is why you need to use it as an accent light, not as a main light. Although it can be used as a main light, just remember that it is gonna have a orange glow, where most people will want a white bulb for a main light, this is gonna be orange. So just bear that in mind. Now, why did I choose this one? Because my hand was forced. My wife wanted a filament bulb and I needed it to be smart. And there's two bulbs that I like to use, IKEA Trad Free and Philips Hue. Now, IKEA Trad Free already do a filament bulb and it is cheaper than the Philips Hue. But it comes at a trade-off because I've got IKEA bulbs working with the Philips Hue system, no problem. But sometimes, sometimes on rare occasions, they can be a little bit buggy, where I find that the Philips Hue lights pretty much work flawlessly with each other all of the time. Very rarely do I have a problem with them. In fact, I don't think I really have any problem with them. But if you want to save yourself some money, then you can use the IKEA transfer system. And yeah, yeah. But at the moment, if you want to go to IKEA, 
you have to spend up to two hours getting in or even longer at some stores you have to walk all the way around the store you can't take cut corners at the moment and they can't guarantee that the stock that's online saying it's in stock in store is correct in store because a lot of people are buying them at the moment so I thought for the sake of a few pound I will get the Philips Hue off Amazon get it the next day rather than me driving 35 minutes to Ikea queuing up for two hours to get in spending an hour trying to get around getting there running the risk that they haven't got them in stock and then driving all the way back it probably would have cost me more in petrol to save the few extra quid but you know it's up to you I'm not telling you what to do I'm just saying there are options out there if you need it but you won't be disappointed with the Philips Hue filament bulb or the Edison bulb. I prefer Edison bulb. I just think it's cooler to say, but it does look nice. Now I've got it in the hallway with a gray shade with a copper insert and it is incredibly orange. Now we've had our hallway painted gray, so it does bring a nice warm glow, but it does really need to be on its own. I mean, yes, I've got it in my hallway and going up the stairs, you can't see the bulb, but it's not ideal. It's just because my wife wanted it and happy wife, happy life, I got her the bulbs. But two bulbs, 34 pounds, it's not the worst deal, it's just not the best, but you are paying for that pretty nice looking bulb. I mean, it really is a sexy looking bulb. I mean, compared to these, there's no competition. There really is no competition, but yeah. I can, I, can, I can recommend it, but think about what your needs are. If it's going anywhere in a lamp that's gonna be covered up, don't get it. If it's going behind you in a lamp that's you know light in a corner, don't get it. You won't see it. Get something like this. If it's going in the ceiling above, maybe for some accent lighting, maybe above a dining table, then yes, get it without a lampshade these are meant to be seen so i'll leave you with this is it tempted you to buy one of these do you think that it's useful do you think for the price is it worth it let me know comment below and if you found this useful then please hit that like button and if you've really found it useful then please consider subscribing to my channel below and if you didn't like it then please double tap that dislike button and guys i'll see you next time